Hello, everyone. Welcome to ICD-10 PCS coding. This week, we're going to take a look at the structure, the guidelines, and the seven characters that make up ICD-10 PCS coding. This chapter is crucial, and you'll be referring back to some of the concepts in this chapter throughout the length of the course. So let's get started and have a look at ICD-10 PCS coding. And again, this is ICD-10 PCS coding used to code hospital-based procedures. Earlier, we talked about diagnosis coding, which is essentially the reason why a patient comes in to be seen. PCS coding covers what is done for the patient, what services are done for the patient once they're in the hospital setting. We'll be talking about the basic concepts of procedure coding system, the seven characters, what have you. We'll be talking on the coding of procedures as performed by specific body systems. And let's get started with a little history of ICD-10 PCS. And like ICD-10 CM, it's the International Classification of Diseases. It's the 10th revision for the procedure coding system. This was developed under contract from CMS by 3M Health Information Systems. And it is the coding system to assign procedure codes for inpatient procedures. In other words, procedures that are done in the hospital setting. And it's multi-axle seven character alphanumeric code structure. So what this means is that there's different components of a hospital procedure, the approach, whether a device is used, what body system, what body part, all these different things. And the seven characters address all of these axes, if you will. It's multi-axial. Multi and by doing this, it provides a unique code for all substantially different procedures. This was originally released in 1998, and it's updated continuously. Last update was in October 2021. There were four attributes, in other words, four themes that 3M and the other interested parties that worked with 3M wanted to be the outcome of this new hospital procedure coding system. Number one is it had to be complete. And by that, we mean it had to have a unique code for all different procedures. And it needed to be expandable, right? We have just in the last 10 years or so, we have a number of different procedures that didn't exist before, things like TAVRs, some of these other things. And by having an expandable coding system, it allowed for a unique code for each of these new procedures. And we covered what multi-axial axial is, but it's basically all these characters are independent, so we can fully describe what the procedure is at a fine level of detail. And then finally, each term needs to have a specific meaning or definition using standardized terminology. And then we have these four principles. And again, with the principles, one of the principles was we needed to keep diagnosis, or in other words, the reason for the procedure, separate from the procedure itself. Secondly, we wanted to limit the not otherwise specified codes, the NOS codes. And likewise, limit the use of non-elsewhere classified codes or the other codes. In other words, when the coding system be complete enough where these were used relatively sparingly. And then finally, the system allows for all procedures to be coded under the PCS system, the ICD-10 PCS system. And the code structure is done with the alphabetic index and the code tables. The codes are always seven characters in length. This is different than ICD-10 CM coding. 
The seven characters are either letters or numbers, and these are called values. And we'll see what that means in just a little bit. Each of these seven digits or letters are called characters. And each value is a specific option for each character. Each character, if you will, one through seven, has one to 34 possible values. A value can either be a number from zero to nine, or it can be a letter. And the letters have to be A through H, J through N, and P through Z. You'll notice that the alphabetic letters of O and I are not used, so they don't get confused with the number zero or the number one. Each code is constructed by choosing a specific value for each of the seven characters. And the values are assigned for each character, specifying the section, the body system, the root operation, the body part, the approach, the device, and the qualifier. And we'll explain what each of these means in just a little bit. The definition of each character is a function of its physical position in the code. So in other words, when we talk about the root operation, that will always be in the same position of each of the seven characters. That will never vary. The root operation itself may vary, but it will always be the same spot in the seven character sequence. And speaking of the sequence, here it is. Here are the seven characters. The first is the section of the ICD-10 PCS coding system, medical, surgical, what have you, imaging. Those are examples of sections. The second is body system, respiratory, gastro, <laughs> digestive system, and so on. The third is the root operation. You can think of the root operation as the reason why the procedure was done. Did we resect something? Did we excise something? And so on. Did we inspect something? Did we transplant something? Those are all examples of root operations. The body part is the part of the body that's within the body system. So there's a relationship between the body part, which you find in the fourth character spot and the body system that you find in the second spot. The fifth is the approach. The fifth character with the approach describes whether it was done open or through a scope or through a body cavity or so on. And then the sixth is the device. Sometimes with procedures, we will put a device in. That is described by the values in the sixth character. And then the seventh is a qualifier. This gives us additional information about the procedure. Something else a little bit different about ICD-10 PCS as opposed to ICD-10 CM is the alphabetic index. With diagnosis coding, we looked at main terms that were in bold. With the index in the PCS codes book, we have an alphabetic listing of procedure titles, and this gives us root operations, body parts, and devices. The codes are found in the index based on the root operation term, right? And the main term may specify the first three or four characters. Then we have to go to this specific table to figure out the remaining four to three characters. Each table identifies the first three characters of the code, as we talked about on the previous slide. The tables used to obtain the complete code by specifying the last four characters. Each table is composed of rows that specify the valid combinations of codes. Characters four, five, six, and seven 
must be chosen from the same row. Let's take a look at what that means. And this example that's in your text talks about the appendectomies, right? So as you can see here, we have the code for an open appendectomy of 0DT. J zero Z Z. How does that look like in the code book? You can see here, here's our example. The first three characters, which we got from the index, are zero D T. From there, we go to the body part. In this case, it's appendix, which is J. We did it to an open approach. So the fifth character will be zero. There is no device that's left behind. So that gets a Z and there is no qualifier, right? So as you can see here, medical surgical sec section, the gastrointestinal system, and here, character three, the root operation. Cutting out without replacement is a resection. So in a lot of ways, you can see both some similarities and some differences between ICD-10 PCS and ICD-10 CM. Once you're experienced with ICD-10 PCS, experienced hospital coders may code right from the tables themselves. However, initially, I would strongly advise following along in the book, get familiar with the index, because again, some of these things that we think of are a little bit different once we get to the root operations. For example, we don't think about an appendectomy as being a resection of an appendix. That's all I have for you right now. Come back for our next set of video lectures and we'll continue discussing ICD-10 PCS. Bye now.